Hey there clan rats and gutter runners and welcome to another GW pre-orders video. So this week we have the new Zinch models out, which this is only going to be the first wave. Uh, next week, uh, Games Workshop have shown pictures of what's coming out next week, well what's up for pre-order next week on the Warhammer community page. There's a few uh, pictures going around. Um, so this week, kind of the main things that I will be looking at are uh, the Kyrak Acolytes. The Fate Master and Ogride Tau Martridge, if that's pronounced right. And the Battle Tome Disciples of Zinch. Other things that are up for pre order this week is the Gone Summoner, the Cursling, uh, Legends of Age of Sigmar, City of Secrets, Hardback, and Lemon Russ Hardback book as well. Now, these two Gone Summoner and the Cursling, they are all models, but they're just getting re released with these on round basis. So let's just jump straight into it. Let's have a look at the Kyrak Acolytes. Now these are really nice. These are the guys that come out on the Warhammer Quest box. Uh, you get 20 in it. Um, and I was looking, what I probably will be start doing is any pre-orders or new releases that come out with, uh, with the PDFs on it. I will be looking at that in a separate video because I was looking at these guys' rules. Um, I was looking at... I was looking at the Fate Master, I was looking at Og Rides. Um, so I will be doing a separate video looking at the rules of these guys. That'll probably be up the day after this comes out. Uh, but for now, these are 40 euro, which I think for 20 guys, uh, for 20 new models, and new models from GW are really top notch, especially these. I think these look fantastic. Um, they really have that kind of cult looking effect with the helmets on or the masks. The shields on the back and the staffs and everything. Uh, let's have a look at the description. There is plenty of things that you can get out of these. Uh, 20 Kyrick Acolytes. Each Acolyte is armed with either a Cursed Blade or a pair of Cursed Blades. Or a, cur a Cursed Blade, a pair of Cursed Blades, or a Cursed Blade and Acronite Shield. 20 Face Masks. Oh, so the Face Masks are separate. Uh, meaning every unit of 20 can be completely unique. Two models can be upgraded to Adepts. Uh, three different choices of heads, either a sword, shield. So you're getting plenty of options. Uh, two miniatures can be accompanied by a vulture, Vulchark. A flying creature perched on their arm. Which attacks enemy wizards. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, two wizards can be assembled holding a scroll of dark arts, bolstering their enemy's magical abilities. 164 component kits supplied on 32mm bases. So there's a lot in this. And I was looking at the rules for these guys. They do seem pretty decent. Uh, the models look fantastic. Death. What's this bird thing called again? Uh, full charge. Uh, he looks so awesome. Uh, I think it's like the model is great. But the paint job on it is really nice. I, love, I always love the colours of Zinch. The blue, the dark and light blues are really nice looking. Uh, even the little feathers here on this guy. Uh, the scroll looks really nice. The helmet and this guy looks pretty cool. I like that it shows different skin tones as well. Instead of just going for the kind of pinky flesh colour. Uh, here you can see some of the feathers on the shields. Look at that face mask. That's awesome. That is really nice. That kind of half moon one. I think that's called a crescent moon is it? And so you're getting lots of pictures of different face masks, the sword here. So these must be the upgraded guys. Um Yeah, I, these are mighty impressive. I these when I seen these in the well I'm not sure if these are exactly the guys from the Warhammer Quest box, but they're pretty similar at least anyway, as far as I can tell. I've always been a fan of these. They look so nice. You know, they haven't got too much going on. They haven't got, like, loads of armor. They have, like, the, the things on their forearms, the shield, and, like, one on their, one on their leg, their shin. Um, like, they're not overly designed. They haven't got too many things going on. That I think they look great. Big fan of these. 40 euro maybe is a bit much, but I think it's, it's, it's worth it for these. There's so many bits. There's so many things with them you can do with them. Different options. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, then you also have the Chanters of Change, which I was thinking, like, when I talk about this, it's just two units put together for, like, no save, and it's 80 euro. Um, but apparently this is uh, in the Battle Tome, Disciples of Zinch. You can use this. Uh, oh, where was I reading it? Uh, I was reading it somewhere here. 
I could have thought. I could have sworn this said. Oh, battle home. Uh, I'm trying to think. I thought these had their own uh battalions, but I think I just misread it there in the bottom. Um, maybe did maybe there is a battle plan for just having a big, uh, forty man unit of these. Uh, but there, there is all the ch chanters of change. Uh, we move on to the fate master. I haven't had a look at this guy's rules yet. Um, but it's coming in at thirty two euro. This guy is pretty pricey. Let's have a look in pounds. Uh, these guys are thirty pound. Uh, the fate master is twenty five, and it's coming in at thirty two fifty in euro. Again, he's really nice. Um, is he a re? Is he was he out already? Uh, as far as I can remember, I don't think so. I think this guy is new. Um, but he looks great. The prices, I to be honest with you, I think the prices are way too high on this guy. Um, if that was like twenty five, I'd even say it's a little bit high. I think twenty should have been around the mark for this twenty two fifty. Um, but he, apart aside from that, he looks uh really nice. Uh, I like his staff. The detail on it looks great. The effects on his um from this must be from just under the disc with the mouths and the heads and everything with the tongue sticking out. That's really cool. That's a really nice effect coming out of the flames of it. You have the eye. Of, I think it's the eye of Zinch on the shield. Um, you know these guys are riding on these discs. They always look fantastic in the game. Um, he's there thirty two fifty. That's he's a bit overpriced. Uh, then we move on to the big guy. We have Ogrod. Taumaturge. I don't know how to pronounce that second one, so I'm not going to try. Um, let's have a little look at the description. Very little is known about this guy. Uh, pretty much everything that you kind of expect. He looks, uh, he's fearsome prowess in combat. He looks pretty muscly and all that stuff. Um, yeah, doesn't really give you a whole lot there. Just kind of a, a very brief introduction about him. 16 components. 50mm round base, so that's pretty big. Pretty awesome. This guy is amazing. I really like this guy. I was strongly thinking about trying to get this guy on eBay. But now you, you have the choice. Like this guy, you have the choice to get him now singularly by himself, which is much better. But he is 3250. And this guy is 3250, you know. If I had a choice to get him one or the other, it would definitely be this guy. Uh, the details is fantastic. The horns, the facial expression looks really good. I love the staff with the smoke coming out of it. Um, I was looking at the rules for him. He is a wizard. I'll go over that in the, other, in the next video. Um, so that's a really nice bonus. He's, look, he, like, how often do you see a wizard that's like buffed up and ready for combat? Uh, the only thing that had me thinking about this guy, you see all these kind of carvings on his skin. If these were carved into the model, um, or if these all hand painted on, they look like they're part of the model. Um, but I wasn't hundred percent certain. So then when I looked at the sprue. Yeah, they're all carved in already, so it makes it super easy to go over them parts. The details on them is fantastic. All the markings on his back look really nice. Small bit of, uh, kind of like a waist armor, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> you have the clock coming down with the eye of Zinch, The detail and everything is fantastic. I love the shade, the kind of the blue to the kind of orangey pale flesh here. Uh, big fan of him. Uh, just by looking at him. I love the bit of hair coming from the head to the top of the back. The staff. You know, everything looks super cool with this guy. Um, definitely looking forward to going over the rules for him. I like how he's not, like, overly decorated with the Americans. Like, you have one of the legs on his back, and then his whole front part is just kind of left. That's kind of nice. At least he's not uh, overly decorated. And then, finally, we have the Battle Tomes, uh Disciples of Zinch, which is unfortunately out of stock already. Twenty-five euro. Uh, this is probably going to be pretty small. How much is it in pound? Twenty pound is sold out in England as well. Uh, for the price, you can usually tell by the price how small they are. I think the Clan Pestilence Tom Battle Tom that I have is about the same price as this, so it's probably around the same size. And here you can see, of course, what's going to be coming out next week: the Big Lord of Change model. Um. Receive a set of Zinch Magic cards free with every purchase battle tome while stocks last. I think they're out of stock already, but that's pretty cool. Um, let's have a look at the details. 136 page hardback. 
Uh, forces of Zinch. So you got their, their special rules. Two unique spell lords. The lore of change and the lore of faith. Command traits for demonic, arcanite, uh, and mortal followers of Zinch. A lot of cool special rules going to come out of this by the looks of it. Artifacts of power and mortal followers. Demonic gifts. Uh, 16, so you get 16 war scroll battalions. 16 war scroll battalions. Oh, and six and war scrolls. So that's probably sixteen between. Them. I was thinking, sixteen war scroll battalions. That's no way. <laughs> um, allegiance abilities can be used with slaves. The darkness bearing the mark of Zinch. That's pretty cool. Pack the glory rules. Two battle plans. Match play points value. Uh, so you're getting all your information. This looks like a pretty interesting book. Maybe I might invest. I think after seeing all these stuff coming out, I'm strongly thinking those starting the Zinch army. These look fantastic. Um, so this book looks like it's packed with information. The artwork looks amazing. Like I don't even where you start to try and draw this up. It looks so cool. Uh, Zinch Almighty. Revealed in their true form. So here we have some of the guys from the Zinch army. Which looks pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we have? Cleric Acolytes, we're talking about them. Alright, we're looking super nice. And then we have the Pat the Glory campaign. So at least you get to have a look at the two pages. Ah, oh, that's just the pages you get with the rule book. Um, this book has me very interested. I got a GW voucher for Christmas and I added more onto it. And I did spend it on a, a Skaven model. So if I hadn't spent it on that, I probably would have tried and got this book and the Cleric Acolytes. Um, it looks so good this release and I really can't wait for next week to come out or for next week's pre-orders to come out because this can only get better this release I'm super excited for Zinch I'm really thinking of starting a Zinch army now um, I'm going to have a look at the website now to see what kind of Zinch bits to have but anyway stay tuned for a video after this I will be, I'll hopefully, if I have time, if I can get it done, I'm going to do a video looking at the new rules for these guys, the PDF rules of the Acolytes, um, the Fate Master, and Ogride as well. So there's only three to really look at, so hopefully I can get through it. But if you guys like this video and, and is... Ugh, let me slow down there. <laughs> if you guys are excited for the Zinch release, just like I am, uh, make sure to like this video and leave a comment below, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.